When I first started making YouTube videos, I made a video on three signings to make for Manchester United. I'm going to be doing this very same thing today, but this time I'm going to be using a tool called FM Data Lab to help me find the players. If you've seen Squirrel Plays videos where he uses data and Python, it's very, very similar to that, but this is a web tool. It's already all set up. You can put, import the views into Foot Manager and then put them into the FM Data Lab. It's going to show you the best players for your team. So I'm here, I'm the manager of Manchester United, and I'm going to show you how to use FM Data Hub to find players in the game. We're going to try and find three players for Manchester United. So the first thing I need to do is decide which positions I want to improve. So I've come into the squad planner. We're going to have a quick look through the squad plan. Now, initially, my thought was maybe a left back because we haven't got many backups. We've got Luke Shaw, but everyone knows that Luke Shaw is a little bit injury prone. So I'm thinking a left back, even though Luke Shaw is really, really good. Right back as well. We've got Dalo Wambasaka, maybe a right back. I think goalkeeper, okay. Center back, there are a few options. Varane, Martinez, Maguire, Lindelof, but maybe center back. Defensive midfielder, we've got Casemiro, Eriksson, Manu, Amrabat, McTominay. I think we've got plenty in defensive midfield. Higher up the pitch as well, we've got plenty of options. We've got Fernandez, Eriksson, Mount, Manu also play there, Diallo. Uh, out on the right, we should be fine. Ganacho, Anthony. On the left, we could perhaps get someone. You can see we've got Rashford. We've got Ganacho, who's sort of, he's going to be used on the other wing. We've got Rashford, who might be being used up front. We've got Mount, who can sort of play on the left. Martial, I imagine, will be leaving pretty soon. And we've got Diallo as well, who's pretty young. Or up top. So I'm sort of thinking maybe a left back. And then looking at, at this now, perhaps another centre back. We've got Varane and Martinez, perhaps as the first two. But we're looking at Lindelof, Maguire and Evans. Maybe they're a little bit weak now or an upgrade on our right backs or perhaps a backup right or left winger. So perhaps I think we're going to go for, we're going to go for a left back. We're going to go for a left or right winger. And we're going to go for a, another striker looking at Hoyland who's out injured. We've got Marshall, and we've got Rashford. So there's not many options there up top. So let's go striker. Let's go for a winger for both wings or either wing. And let's go for a left back. So one of the things I have to do, I have to come down here to the scouting tab. Uh, I filtered this out just a little bit. So I filtered out some players. I can only import 5,000 players into the database. So what I've done is I've just added in some very basic, you know, tens on some on the physicals and, and some of the attributes that I like every single one of my players to have. And I dropped the match number of matches down to 11 out of 12. So it picked up 3,000 players. And then I need to go in and import the view, the special view from FM Data Hub. So I'm going to go custom. I'm going to import a view. And I need to grab the player search view for this screen. There we go. I've got the player search view. This is going to have all these things listed here. All the numbers are here. I'm going to press Control A to select every player, hopefully. It'll take a second. There we go. And once that's done, I'm going to press Control P and I'm going to export that to a web page. I'm going to make a new folder called Data Lab. We're going to save it. It's got all these players it's going to chuck in. These are the players who might be interested as well in a move to Manchester United. Now, if you want, you can also do your shortlist screen. I've got any players on my shortlist right now. But the final thing you need to do is come to your squad and do your squad screen. So again, you're going to come in. I'm going to load in the view, import view. I need this time the squad view. There we go. And I'm going to control A or select control A. And this time I'm going to select Johnny Evans at the top. I'm going to come down to the bottom, press shift. Then I'll press control. And again, we're going to do the same. We're going to save it into data lab. And I'm going to call this one manu squad done. Now, before I go over to the data lab, there's one more thing that I want to do, which is I want to come into my tactics. And I have made a tactic sort of similar to what Manchester United use in real life. The roles are perhaps a little bit different, but because of how we're going to select the roles, it shouldn't matter too much. So I'm going to come across to the FM data lab here. You can find that fmdatalab.com. Uh, we're going to get started and we're going to import our first file. So we've downloaded the views. Now we need to import. Here we go. So there are a few restrictions. You need to set it up in this particular way. Make sure you read through this. If you're playing on English, you probably have most of this set up anyway. All mine were these defaults anyway. Um, if you have player attribute masking, there is some additional stuff if you want to use this. So it's going to find like the middle ground. There are also some restrictions. You're going to do 12 files, but you can delete one, put a new one in. 5,000 players maximum, eight megabytes. And when it comes to the number of roles to calculate, each player is a maximum of 11 roles. So yeah, let's jump in. So we're gonna upload our form. We're gonna give it a name, which will be Man United. I mean, it doesn't matter, but I'm gonna correct my spelling. Type in, this is a player search type. You can call it whatever you like. And then finally, I'm gonna choose my file. I saved mine in my Foot Manager folder, so it was a bit easier to, to find. We're gonna open the Man United 
export. So before we go further, I need to import my tactic as well. So I'm just going to come up here and add that tactic. So I'm going to add a new tactic and we're going to add in what we have. So we have a, let's say we have a, a wing back on the left and probably on the, on the right as well. We have two regular center backs on defend. We have a ball winning midfielder on the left here. And we have a playmaker probably on the right, deep line playmaker on support. We have an attacking midfielder in support there. Out on the left here, there was an, probably an inside forward. And out on the right here, we have an inverted winger on support. And up top, let's put that we have an advanced forward. I'm gonna call this man new, create the tactic. Oh, I've got the goalkeeper. Can't forget a goalkeeper. Goalkeeper in, done. So my tactics in, I'm gonna go back again to my files, come back to Manchester United here. Uh, and I'm going to select the tactic from the drop down here. Man United is going to chuck in all those roles that I want. Now, we're only going to search certain players. So we're going to get rid of some of these. So I don't want to look at the central defenders. We don't want to look at the boarding midfield because I think we're okay there. We do want wingers inside forwards. We do want an advanced forward. I'm going to take off attacking midfielder. We do want the wing back. We do want the goalkeeper. So we've got four roles selected, but we can come in and add some additional ones. So let's say we want a wing back on attack or if we also want to look at the different roles on the on the, on the wings we can add those as well so perhaps an inside forward on attack what else would we perhaps take here different kinds of forwards perhaps a, a pressing forward on on attack or support or certainly a complete forward on attack that gives us a few different options maybe a full back as well so i can take up to 11 roles i'm going to submit that and it should fetch some data back for me here we go so we look at these players. These are the positions they play. Um, some of these you'll see, for example, Mateus De Ligt. If we check him, he should he should be able to play the fullback. We can see it there. He plays a few positions. So you can see his overall best role is a fullback, fullback, wingback. But if I want, I can narrow this down to just players who are left backs. So let's start with the left backs. We're going to drop it down to the left backs here. And what we want to find is someone who can make a good left back. So we got the positions, we've got their age, we've got their height, we've got their weight. If you want to filter by any of those, you can. Uh, we also have here, we have here their current status, the club they're at, nationality, division, caps, etc. We can filter by out by any of these things, the personality as well, pros and cons, wages, transfer value. So we're going to get across to here. And what we're going to look at here is this rating is a rating that is sort of calculating how good they are in that position. So our best player to buy for Manchester United for that left back would be Jose Gaia. But if we go back to Manchester United and let's go check our finances, we only have a transfer budget of uh, actually only 1 million, which isn't very much. Let's see if we can make a little bit of adjustments. So we have a bit to play around with. We don't have much at all. So we're probably not buying anyone right now. Um, but let's say we sell a player or two. Let's say we can get a transfer budget of around 10 million per player. So I'm going to come back here and filter this transfer value for a max of, let's say, 15 million. I'm going to stick that in there and we'll see who we get. So we also don't want players that are too old, I don't think. So let's come back and just adjust the age to a max of, it's actually already done 30. Let's, I mean, that's probably all right. So we've got a max age of 30. Okay, let's have a look, see who we get. So the best options, we're looking at possibly Ronaldo, about Alberto, Alberto Moreno. We can come along here and we can see the, the best roles for Moreno. Inverted winger, it's suggesting, but it doesn't necessarily mean we have to use him there. It gives us an attribute rating for his technicals, for his mentals, for physicals, a total as well. The, his set pieces, his speed, his tenacity, and his his how good he is with his, with his feet. Um, so let's go and have a look at Moreno. I'm gonna open up the tab just here on the right. It'll give me all his attributes as they are. So we're looking, you know, he's got a bit of acceleration, a bit of pace, if I just move, shove this over, a bit of acceleration, a bit of pace, but about a decent balance. So he looks like he'd be a really good left back player. So probably Alberto Moreno worth 7.2 mil. Let's go have a look and see if we can find someone a little bit cheaper even. Let's say we want someone who is under seven mil and see what we get. Debbie and Makedo, we'll look at him. We got what we got. We got a bit. We got quite pacey, good physicals, tackling, and everything is quite good. He's got a 13.38 rating there on that fullback, or a 13.67 if we want to use him as a, as a, as a wing back, 62 if we want to use him as a bit more of an attacking wing back. I think Makedo could be a useful player. Another one worth looking at could be Fodo Bolo Torre, who According to this, could be as little as 700k. Let's have a look, see if we get anyone down. We've got uh, Seki Selic here, 
million, it's suggesting could be a really good pickup. So I think that might be a good place to start. In fact, let's go back into the game and let's try for Zeki Selic. So I'm back. Let's see if we can find Selic at Roma. Uh, he is transfer listed, which is useful to know. I'm going to ask him about the availability. We're interested in signing him. About 2.6 mil, 32k in the wages. So let's get an offer in at 2.6 mil. He's 26. And that could be a good purchase. Right, back to finding two other players. So we got our left back. Let's say now we want to look for attacking midfielder. So go right attack or left attacking midfielder and see who we got. So that Patrick Pedro Malero is there, which could be interesting. Byron Castillo as well. It's because I've still got it sorted by wing backs, but it'd be interesting to see how they how they would do as uh, more further forward. So we are looking for in the so we're going to be looking here in the wide midfielder role. Let's say we sort of want uh, an inverted winger on support. We're not really looking for a straight striker because we're going to get a striker afterwards anyway. And we're going to see if there is someone. Here we go. Alvaro Fidalgo, who is 26, currently in the Mexican division. And it's suggesting he comes out higher. So let's go have a look at Fidalgo in game. And there we go. I've just loaded up Alvaro Fidalgo. He does also play in the center, interestingly, but he has enough of that pace out in the wings. The mentals are really good. Really good passing and vision. So good playmaker, good technique, good first touch, good dribbling. Crossing is decent. I think he could be a really good player out wide. We can, and the, the fact that we can use him in the middle will be really useful as well. So I think maybe we go try to kill a ball, get into opposition areas, place his shots. I think there's some really good attributes here on Fidalgo. So we're going to chuck in a bid for him. Not 190 to 1.9. So he shouldn't cost us lots of money. 19k a week. I mean, let's see if we can get him. We have a little bit. They only want a million plus another million in or under a million another million installment so that's cheap i'm not even gonna you know try and negotiate it and i need one more player so we need a striker so we're gonna come back we're gonna select the positions we're gonna clear those two and we're gonna find our striker we're gonna come back across here and this time i'm gonna look at the striker column now let's we're gonna go for an advanced forward but we're gonna keep an eye on the other two in case there are different players Belotti, for example comes up if we do pressing forward henry martin is another good option or if we do complete forward henry martin tammy abraham so i think when we will look at tammy abraham henry martin is showing up a couple of times just have a quick look see how they look here so best role position but advanced forward pressing forward so let's go look at when me and maybe in fact let's go back and see how much these guys cost see if any of these are pick upable pretty cheap i'm surprised tammy is so cheap but we'll see so we are looking at about seven to eight mil for most of these wesley side is standing out to me there 1.6 to 3.3 mil or gerard de la Feu. let's have a quick look see if there are any others on here who might come out seiko kuta seven to three point six reasonable very strong and if we come back across to his attributes as a as a, as a forward, he's getting a 13.55, which is good. And we just look across here, make sure there's nothing that stands out. Set piece is not so good, but he's quick. His mentals and technicals might be a little bit low, so we'll, we'll keep an eye on him. We'll, let's go have a look at him in the game, um, and we can see if he is one we want to take a punt on or not. Here we go, Seiku Koita at Salzburg. You see he's a very quick player. Reminds me sort of Patson Dacker with these attributes. So... Also coming from Salzburg, of course. 7 for 3.6. He's 23. He probably won't be good enough for Manchester United looking at the technicals. So we're going to go back and make sure the technicals are good enough on the player that we choose. So let's go have a look at Wesley's side. Let's have a quick look at the end. See if anything stands out. Again, I can see his technicals are going to be a little bit low. But, and the physicals are a little bit lower than some of the others as well. So he might be uh, an issue. Can't do set pieces, but that's not a problem. So let's go have a look at Wesley's side. So he's at Lance. Flair, technique, good finishing and dribbling. Bit of pace about him. Nothing here looks bad. He's only two star. He's 28, so he's not going to develop much. So I think what we're going to do, I'm going to go back and we're going to try and see if we can find someone much younger who we can perhaps mould into the Manchester United form. So I'm going to come back over here. I'm going to set my age. I'm going to set it as a max of uh, 23 and see who we get back in. So Seiko Koita is there. and um, We have Efan Guisand. Let's go have a look. So I've sorted these by advanced forward. You can see that column has stuck on the right there while I scroll through. I'm just going to come to the end here and have a quick look at the the computated attributes. Kyle George could be a really good one here. 9.93, a mentor of 12.79, physicals 11.78, pretty good. Yuri Alberto could be another one to look at. Let's have a quick look down this list, see if anyone stands out. Now here, Andre Anderson, I'm looking at him. 
how much would he be? Looking at the attributes that have popped up on the right here, he looks like he could be a really good player. 23, 1.2 to 2.5 million. He's at Lazio. Let's have a quick look at Evan Guissard, see how much we'd be paying for him. We're paying one to seven million. He's 22. In fact, let's drop that age right down. See what the best youngsters we can we can sort of pick up. And we have right here, Myron Von Berode. If I click into his attributes, he's looking promising. He's a, he's a Aze Alkmaar. We can pick him up for five to eight million. So perhaps too much. Tommaso Di Napote also looks decent here. He's Atalanta, 100k to 1.1. Right, let's go have a look at Tommaso Di Napote. So Tommaso Di, Di Napote, Napote was it? Yeah, there he is. Tommaso Di Napote. He looks good. Those technicals look really good. The physicals are in a strong position. The men, the technicals are pretty decent in the areas that he needs already. He's he's only 5'11", which isn't the tallest, but 110k to 1.1 million. Probably would have to spend a little bit more strong on his left foot. Uh, it looks like he also plays on the right here. If we want to use him as an inside forward there, which will be useful. Only 19. I think there's some development in him as well. Let's ask the agent about him. 110k to 1.1, 13k a week. Let's see if we can if we can convince Atalanta to part ways with him. They want 1.1 million and about another million and a sell on. Let's see if we can negotiate this a little bit. There we go. They've accepted that lower offer. I didn't offer lower it by loads. I probably could have negotiated a little bit more, but about 1.6 million. Um, so there are three signings, which Selic, Pidalgo, and Napoti. We'll see if we can get them in and how they sort of slot into the team. Now, in order to fund these transfers, you saw I had to make a little bit of money. I'm doing that via Victor Lindelof, who I think is probably, he's been on the transfer list anyway. He looks all right as a centre-back, but there's a couple of centre-backs in already. We can probably get, see if we can negotiate. They withdrew. Well, we can we can we can see if we can get about 10 million for him. So I've got all three of them in. We've got Selic in who can play as the right back or left back. We can use him actually on either side. And we have the other two as well. Fidalgo is gone into where is he? Alvaro Fidalgo. Here he is. And we can use him in those variety of positions as well. There's sort of more squad players here in Manchester United. I've not signed any star players, but with under 10. Actually, I think I spent how much did I spend on those three? I spent pennies. I spent, let's see if it will tell me. We spent 1.9 mil on Fidalgo, one, about 3 mil on Nepoti, and then about another 2.6 mil on Selic. So super cheap for all three of them. Let's also have a look at Nepoti. Nepoti has gone into the under 21s for now. He's, in fact, his, his birthday just gone, so he's turned 20. But I think, you know, he's going to develop nicely. The PA doesn't suggest that he might develop into a world-class player, but certainly he's going to be good enough for Manchester United's team. You think Manchester United have some really good players in here. So we're interested to see how he develops. If you want me to do it for any other clubs, let me know, and I'll see if I can pick out three players for different clubs. Hopefully players have a bit more transfer budget than Manchester United. Theirs seemed really low for a club of their quality. So it made it a little bit tricky. If I had a bit more time, could look in see if we can find a real bargain in there as well you know look at the look at the real young players but yeah i think you know this is certainly a powerful tool for you to find the best players for those positions one of the areas i think i probably should use it on in myself is when i do a 30 minute rebuild that's so why i got 30 minutes to rebuild a team i've done quite a few here is one that i did with valencia that went really really well actually so make sure you go check that out and see who i signed for valencia because I mean, they probably show up pretty well using this FM data hub, but check it out. Valencia 30 minute rebuild.